Hi, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday to you guys. Before we get started, do me a favor, figuratively, smash the ever living bejesus out of that subscribe button. And then when you're done, just gently, gently, boop, the notification bell. And then when we're done, check out michaelsfishroom.com for pluckos, guppies, and t shirts. Also, guys, I will be going to the Aquatic Experience in Secaucus, New Jersey next weekend, which is the uh, 19th and 20th, I believe, of October. If you guys are going and you want to buy some fish, you can check out michaelsfishroom.com. Use promo code AENJ2018 for 20% off your entire purchase. And then when you check out, choose the shipping that says, will deliver to the aquatic experience. And this way you won't be charged shipping. I'll bring the fish with me. Boom, you pick them up. No shipping charge. You're welcome. Guys, today I want to talk about Plecos. Why? Because I really like them. And because I, <clears throat> I've been breeding them in my fish room to sell to you guys. Some of my current stock I have bought from other breeders uh, that you know had an abundance and sold them to me at a price where I could sell them to you and still make money. Because as we all know, I do this to make money. I don't want to you know, fool anyone. Don't get me wrong, I love doing this, and the fish room definitely um, does things for me, like calm me down and help me concentrate on things uh, that I want to concentrate on as opposed to things that kind of make me angry and stuff, but I'm doing this for money. I breed fish to sell to you. Um, so, you know, that's why I do this. I make videos, so you guys go check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com, and buy fish. That's the 100% why I do this. Moving on, plecos. So a couple people have asked me, and I've seen on Facebook lately, where can I buy pleco caves? Well, there are certainly people that commercially produce pleco caves. Um, we all know I had an issue with pleco cave guy at the Keystone Clash. Uh, there'll be a link to the video here somewhere. Um, and you know, whatever. His stuff looked great. I just, I can't do business with somebody who ignores people. That's just, you know, me. Anyway, so what I do for most of my Plucko Caves, if I can find them locally, uh, I certainly will. I think I bought some from Greg Jones when I was at um, the NEC last year, and I'll probably buy more from him at the Aquatic Experience. I like supporting uh, fellow YouTubers who are really cool, like Greg is one of them. So <clears throat> check out Greg Jones, his channel, and uh, my Aquarium Box, his website. Um, but for the most part, I buy my Pleco Caves from Amazon. And I use watering spikes. And I got this idea from either from Bob over at Steam Font or somebody on his channel or on his uh, Facebook group mentioned it. And I'm like, that's a damn good idea. So anyway, I got a box in yesterday from Amazon. <coughs> to be honest, yesterday I got like six boxes from Amazon. I don't know what the hell happened on Tuesday, but I ordered a poop ton of stuff. One of the things I ordered is a new lens for the camera. Damn you, Jimmy! But it's way more than I want to spend. But it takes really good pictures. I tried it today and I know nothing, so the pictures came out pretty nice. Anyway, let's talk more about Plecos. So I got these plant watering spikes. I think there's six in here. I think they were like 17 bucks. Let's do the math. That's less than three dollars each. You guys didn't even see me count my toes. Let's take a look at what they look like. They're terracotta plant watering spikes. Now, they come in lots of styrofoam to keep them safe. And here's what they are. It's just a little terracotta tube that gets narrower as it gets to the back. And that's kind of important. Plecos, when they breed, they like the cave tight. Now, I have different size plecos. And to be brutally honest, the only plecos I've been successful at breeding are my lemons, my lemon blue eyes, and they, they bred when I was in Japan last. So around the beginning of August is when they bred, and now the fry or the juveniles or the babies are a little more than an inch, getting ready to put them on the website and sell. I've sold a couple at the Aquatic Experience. I'm sorry, I sold a couple at the Keystone Clash, and I, so, I have shipped a couple already, but they're gonna go on the website soon. I'm sure they're gonna sell out fast. I was hoping by now they'd have more babies, but not yet. I'm hoping the storm that rolled through last night will kind of trigger some spawning. Um, I have, 
in the tank that I'm looking in over there, I can see a male, his tail kind of hanging out. I think it's a male at least. And so for those of you that don't know about pleco breeding, <clears throat> what happens is the females go in the cave, the cave, and uh, lay eggs. And then the males go in the cave and fertilize the eggs and then guard them and then raise them until they leave the cave. And that's how it works. And uh, plecos, for the most part, as far as I know, don't eat their babies and do a pretty good job of protecting them while they're in the cave. Now, once they're free swimming, I would imagine if there are other fish in the tank <clears throat> that can eat them, they will. As a matter of fact, I got a shipment of really, really tiny super reds in and uh, they weren't doing well and I quickly threw them in a tank that had a betta in it, not thinking of it. And the first thing that little betta did who bettas are slow swimmers, so I don't normally consider them hunters. <laughs> Boom, picked one right off the bottom. And while it was interesting to watch, it kind of sucked because it's a super red. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so I got six of these, 18 bucks, links down there in the description. And uh, that's what I use for Pleco Caves. Now, you may be saying, well, I wonder how he prepares them for, for breeding. I don't, I drop them in the tank, that's it. Really, I don't even wash them off. I take all the styrofoam off, cause like, like, look at this one. This one's got, you know, styrofoam snot on it. See, I don't know if you can see how small it is, but it's right there. I call that styrofoam snot. I don't know what you call it, but that's what I call it. But you know, I take them off, take the styrofoam snot off, and uh, you know, if there's stuff in there, I might rinse it to get it out, but that's pretty much it. Now, placing the pleco caves is slightly important as well. Plecos, like humans, like, you know, choices, right? I'm just making this up. I don't know if they like choices, but this is what worked for me. <clears throat> I put pleco caves kind of in different locations and maybe even facing different ways. That's what I do. Super pleco breeders might be like, you're crazy. You got to put them all facing, you know, north, northeast, 36.7 degrees. I... That's fine for you. Again, the advice I give you is what works for me. Take it with a grain of salt because I'm not the brightest guy in the world i am not the brightest bulb on the menorah i'm just not okay so here we go i'm gonna put some pleco caves and i'm gonna show you a commercially produced pleco cave uh in a tank and uh i'm gonna show you where i put them the other breeding tips i want to give you for plecos which i've talked about is just like with guppies clean water when i say clean there could be mold in the tank in fact when my lemons bred there was probably an inch of mold all over the whole tank oh I know what you're gonna be saying to yourself. What about snails? There's a ton of snails in your pleco tanks. As far as I know, they don't bug the eggs because the male protects them. Now that's as far as I know. Again, not a genius, just a good looking guy with a camera. All right. Driftwood in the tank, good water quality, good food. You know I talk about food a lot. Planning on smoking some ribs this weekend, folks. Which reminds me, I gotta start to season them. Anyway, let's get back to plecos. <coughs> I'm fine. Driftwood in a tank, good water quality. <clears throat> they do like it softer rather than harder, but my water's moderately hard and they bred, so boom. Caves, choices for those caves, and the caves should be tight. So as I was saying, these, these things have a taper to them. These pleco caves have a taper to them. Um, and they seem to work well, at least for me. So, all right guys, I'm gonna uh, prepare these to put them in a tank by putting them in a tank. And uh, then I'm gonna show you what it looks like, all right? So, stand by. All right, fishy folks, here is the albino bristle nose breeding tank. I have two of these tanks, actually. One of them, uh, th like this tank, <clears throat> it's a 20 high. I prefer a 20 long, but I have 20 highs. There's a big piece of driftwood, a sponge filter, of course, some mom, and pleco caves. There's also, uh, I think, two males and two or three females. I don't really remember, to be honest. Um, plecos, when they breed, they only need one male, and it doesn't matter how many females. The males, I believe, will um, fertilize eggs in different tubes, different caves, so <coughs> I'm fine. You can see this cave right here, that is a commercially produced cave. I don't remember what I paid for it, but it was more than $3. And it probably works great. 
it's tapered at the back just like the caves I bought um, except it's round the caves that I bought are hexagon one two three four five six that's a hexagon six sides and so you can see here I have one pleco cave that's sort of at an angle facing uh, south southeast and then uh, we have these stacked pleco caves the ones that I bought um, actually the one with the snails and it was in the tank I've added two like that kind of stacked to see if that will help these guys find a place to do their thing now you can put them in any direction you want. You can put it how you like. You can put it how you think it's going to help them to breed. Um, I did in my lemon pleco, my lemon blue eye pleco tank, I did have them all facing the same way. Someone made a comment like, uh, you may want to change that. I changed it before I went to Japan and boom, I came back, babies. So <clears throat> I think you got to give them choices. Now, I may come back here in a week or two if I don't see any movement and sort of move them facing other directions so we'll see let's take a look at this pleco breeding tank these guys uh i kind of scared them so they 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 uh sort of messed up the tank but here's another style of these um um watering spikes and uh it's just a different style it's a little shorter it's got more of an attractive outside i guess a design if you will but I probably bought them because they were on sale, you know, lightning deal. It's kind of what I do. I search for lightning deals and I buy them when they're on sale. These guys uh, weren't on sale, but, you know, $17.99 for six, $3 each. Boom, I'm buying them. You can see a, uh, I believe that's a male hanging out in the cave, maybe garden eggs, maybe not focusing. Um, but. He's hanging out. Hopefully, he's guarding eggs. We'll see. And uh, this this tank, he just went in the ta in the cave, I guess. This tank has uh, a little younger, a little smaller bristlenose plecos. Um, in fact, this is the tank I bought. Uh, I bought. I brought most of the plecos in here front to uh, the Keystone Clash, and uh, somebody bought all of them. I think there were. I think there were 10. I don't remember. Anyway, luckily I kept some home, and uh, that's what's in this tank now. And uh, hopefully we got some breeding action out of them. So let's take a look at the lemon pleco tank. We'll just kind of pan around the fish room as we're walking, as we're walking. Look, there's a pleco cave. I just put one in here. These guys, <clears throat> these are the regular bristlenose plecos I got from a subscriber. And you see there's a bed in there. Um. Yeah, these guys came in not looking so great, but have seemed to do, have seemed to bounce back. I only lost a couple, I think two, to be honest. Um, they like to hang out in the terracotta pot as a cave, and obviously on the sponge filter, you can see. So um, I'm going to let these guys do their thing. I put a cave in there just to make them feel better. I don't think there's going to be any breeding right now, but uh, as they grow, I'll probably add some more caves and uh, give them some more opportunities to breed. And then these will be for sale too. These might be for sale before that. Uh, they're just common bristlenose plecos. Nice pattern. If you're a pleco guy and, and they're not just regular ancestorous bristlenose, they're something else, do me a favor, let me know because that would be pretty cool. But I was told they're just regular bristlenose. Uh, here we have some calicos. Um, these are for sale on Michael's Fish Room, of course. But All right, where were we? Oh, baby baby super reds you can see the baby super reds eating what's left of a kelp wafer yep and uh bigger super reds and a chocolate in this tank there's three super reds hidden here and they're or they're uh, sold already so they'll be shipping out tomorrow saturday my new heater that's not hooked up yet we'll talk about that another time more albino bristle nose little babies these are my selling tank so they're, they're about an inch. I can't sex them yet, but. Um, there is the tail of a green dragon. I have three in here. See it? Right there. I don't want to scare them. You can see there's, <clears throat> there's a cave in there too. I think there's two and there's driftwood, but. All right, folks, let's look at the, here's the uh, lemon blue eye tank. You can see these guys. These are the little ones that were born beginning of August. Um, there's a big one right there in the back. Um, 
Lots of snails. There's the caves. There's one on the cave. I don't know if it'll focus on that one. Nope. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's a nice big one with its sail fin, with its fin up. It doesn't have a sail fin, but there's one. You could see it. Nice looking pleco. Sort of look like albinos with blue eyes, so none of that creepy red stuff. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, fishy folks, that's it for the helping to breed plecos, pleco cave extravaganza. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Michaelsfishroom.com, promo code AENJ. 2018 20% off your entire purchase good until October 13th which is this weekend see ya <clears throat> hi fishy folks and happy fry fry Friday to you we had a really bad storm here I don't know why I'm telling you this Fishy folks and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Hope everyone had a great week. I know I've been super busy with a lot of stuff, so not a lot of work has got done down here in the fish room. But you know, before we talk about what we're going to talk about, I should probably have a plan for what that is. 